Hello, kids of the kingdom. Good evening, kids of all ages, or welcome here, kids of the kingdom and the nursery. Uh, I'm Pastor Tosh, and of course, I've got my uh, partners in messaging, Jesus, Mr. Potato Head, and Leo. We're here with our weekly pizza and tea. So last week, we talked a little bit about um, Jesus inviting us into a new kind of life. A life that wasn't about rules, but about relationship, and that Jesus wants to be in relationship with us, and that life was about a relationship with Jesus that can change us from the inside out. So this week, I wanted to focus a little bit more on Jesus and when he came, and now that we know that message, what are we to do with it? So when Jesus came to um, the earth, he was sent as a little baby, and we all know the Christmas story. So this is Fast forwarding to Jesus, when Jesus is an adult, about 30, he um, started walking around and preaching and talking to people about God. And one of those was, he was called the good news and he brought the good news. Well, um, people were, were a little confused by that. What is this good news? Because when they envisioned a Messiah coming or Jesus coming, they thought that Jesus would be very militant, and he might take over the Roman government, who was leading that area right then. And he didn't look like a warrior. He didn't take political office and all this stuff. Um, what he started doing was he walked around, and he started collecting people. And this is where we pick up our story today in Luke chapter 5, um, is that... Here we go. Uh, he started collecting people. First, two brothers named Simon and Andrew. Simon and Andrew were fishermen. Follow me, Jesus said. And they did. They put down their fishing nets and they followed Jesus. Then two more fishermen named James and John, they got right out of their boat and followed Jesus. Then a tax collector named Levi. Nobody liked tax collectors at that time because they often cheated people. But Jesus chose Levi anyway. He looked at Levi, a guy no one liked, and said, follow me, Levi, and Levi did. Jesus kept collecting people, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, another James, Thaddeus, another Simon, and Judas, 12 people in all. You will be my disciples, Jesus said. What's a disciple? A disciple is a student, but in Jesus' day, a disciple didn't just go to class with their teacher. A disciple lived with his teacher. Disciples learned to, how to live good lives by watching their teacher. What's interesting about the people that he chose is, again, people expected Jesus to be militant or very political-minded so that Jesus would come and he would save the Israelite people from the Roman government. Well, this group of 12 individuals that Jesus called weren't military or political either. They were fishermen, tax collectors, like not people that they would expect that Jesus would um, come to build an army or something. So just ordinary people living their lives, um, some of them uneducated. And these are the people that Jesus called to be his inner circle, his disciples, that would then follow him everywhere for three years, living with him and learning from him. Educated. And Jesus told them, I will teach you how to live your life, Jesus said to his disciples, but not just any kind of life, the forever kind of life in the kingdom of God. A kind of life no one had been able to live because sin had broken God's creation. Jesus was going to teach that kind of life to his new students, to his new friends. And what will we do after we start living this kind of life, they wonder. Jesus smiled. Teach it to the whole world. Jesus was bringing a new kind of life to his disciples, a forever kind of life. And these 12 people, fishermen and tax collectors, ordinary people, were going to teach it to the world. And here's the cool part, kids of the kingdom. We are also called by Jesus to be disciples and to teach Jesus' teachings of unconditional love, forgiveness, and mercy to others so that just as we learned last week that Jesus wants to teach us a new way to live so that we're changed from the inside out, Jesus also wants us to touch other people's 
souls and hearts and teach them about that so that their lives can be changed from the inside out too. So that's the good news today is that Jesus is here within our hearts and Jesus is calling you, yes you, to be a disciple and to follow Jesus and to learn how to live so that we can change from the inside out to grow into the people that God intended us to be and that we can share that good news with other people so that they can also grow and the kingdom of God will just continue to multiply and multiply. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you called us to be your disciples, God, meaning that you called us to live with you and learn your ways, God, and that you want for us to go deeper into our lives, God. You understand who we are, our weaknesses, our strengths, our in-between weakness and strength, God, and you love us for all of it, God, and that you just want us to live in communion with you, God, to have a relationship with you so that we could be changed from the inside out, God, and that you give us the courage and the strength to tell others about you as well, God, so that their lives can be changed as well, God. We thank you for this wonderful gift of a relationship with you, God, and you're wanting us to be your disciples, to live with you, and to learn from you, God, and to follow your ways. We thank you so much for that. We pray for this world, that the world can be changed, God. Everybody within this world can be touched by your presence, God. I pray right now for anybody without this world that is not a believer in you, God, that they can feel your presence so much right now, God, that they can't deny you, God, that they have to recognize your presence, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that people's lives can be touched and they can be saved today, God. In your precious and glorious name we pray, amen. All right, kids of kingdom, so you are a disciple if you did not know that. And so you are invited to live alongside Jesus and allow Jesus to work when, in and throughout your life. So that is Kids of the Kingdom message tonight. In about 20 minutes, we'll be back for a Wednesday check-in worship service. And then we'll be back, of course, at 7 o'clock tomorrow night for a message and prayer. God bless everybody. Good night. <laughs>